Hey guys, apa kabar? Saya berharap anda sehat, kuat, dan semangat. I want you to take a look with me in Genesis chapter 28, verse 16. It says, Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. Now this is a perplexing comment from Jacob, because God has just given Jacob a vision of heaven invading earth. Literally, Jacob envisions angels ascending and descending on a ladder that came from heaven to earth. And Jacob's response is, wow, God is right here and I didn't even know it. Now, maybe Jacob didn't know God was in that place because his life was pretty complicated at that moment. He had lied to his dad, his brother wanted to kill him, he had caused a lot of family drama, and he was getting out of town. Jacob was probably thinking, of all the ways he could try to fix his situation on his own. And it's in this context that God shows up and invades Jacob's life with not only a vision, but also God speaks blessings and protection over Jacob. So Jacob is blown away. He didn't realize that God had been there all along. This is a remarkable moment, not just for Jacob, but also for mankind. See, earlier in Genesis chapter 11, people attempted to bridge the gap between heaven and earth through their own efforts by building the Tower of Babel. And as a result, God ended up frustrating their plans. What is so profound about this moment is that God reaches into Jacob's life and reaches into humanity voluntarily and deliberately, completely unprompted. God simply chose to reveal himself and to bless Jacob. And that is grace. The whole story is a picture of the grace of God. And the grace of God is the whole story of salvation. God showed his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Think about that. That while we were still sinners, God set in motion a plan to bridge the gap and invade earth with his presence. And that is exactly what God did through Jesus Christ. John chapter 1 verse 51, Jesus says to Nathanael, truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven open and angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. Now that is the same image that was given to Jacob. Jesus is speaking of himself as that ladder to heaven. He's speaking of himself as that bridge connecting heaven to earth and as that conduit by which heaven will invade earth. Now, just like the Tower of Babel, humanity has tried different kinds of ways to reach heaven through their own effort. But God instead has chosen to reach us by grace, through faith, not by works, so no one can brag about it. And just like with Jacob, God has revealed to us the place where heaven meets earth. And that place is the person of Jesus Christ. He is the ladder. He is the door. He is the bread of life, the living water. He is the way, the truth, and the life. And if you will seek Him, if you will receive Him, if you will lay down your life and take up your cross and follow Him, then heaven will come and invade your heart and life even now. Sounds impossible, right? The grace of God is the only thing that makes it possible. Now let me show you one more thing. Look at what happens to born-again believers. Jesus says in John 14 that He is in the Father and that we are in Him and that He is in us. Jesus says whoever believes in Him, we will do even greater works. In John 17, 22, Jesus says, The glory that you have given me I have given to them that they may be one even as we are one. That is powerful. We are in Christ and Christ is in us. So as born again believers, you are now carrying inside of you that same ladder that brings heaven to earth. In Christ, you are the conduit by which heaven will invade earth. In Christ, now you can speak life into any situation. You can lay hands on the sick and they will recover. You can bring love, joy, peace, and hope to all of the world. You are in Christ and He is in you. So Jacob had a vision of the ladder from heaven. Jesus is the embodiment of that ladder. 
And you and I, as born-again believers, we carry that ladder everywhere we go. Amen. Wow. Well, that's all for now. I'll see you next week. God bless you.